Hello, I'm Dr. Ekaterini Klepusniotu and I'm a lecturer at the Institute of Psychological Sciences at the University of Leeds. Today I will be talking to you about electroencephalography uh, or EEG for a shorter version of that name. EEG standing for electroencephalography. So what is electroencephalography? Electroencephalography is the measurement of electrical activity produced by the brain as recorded from electrodes placed on the scalp. In fact, the neurons we have in our brain, the nerve cells that actually make up our brain, they communicate with each other through electricity. And it is that electricity, that electrical signals, those electrical pulses that we are actually recording with electroencephalography. So basically, we use head electrodes that are mounted on a cap to record the electrical activity from our brain, and that can give us information about processing in the brain. And I will explain to you how that happens, how we record, and how we interpret those recordings. Now, EEG was invented in 1928 by Hans Berger, so quite some time ago, and Hans Berger was actually the first scientist to record electrical activity from the brain, from a living human being. Now, the method is non-invasive. You may feel, oh God, you electrical activity, putting electrodes on the, on the scalp. But actually, we're just recording um, the electrical activity of the brain. We are not inducing any electrical activity. So it's our brain actually creating this electricity and we are just measuring it, recording it. Now, like electrical activity, the EEG has several frequency bands and we can actually describe the different waves. They have names and specific frequencies they occur in and usually they are um, associated with a specific function. So, for example, we have alpha waves that occur in frequencies from 8 to 13 hertz they occur usually more occipitally. Then we have beta waves that occur in frequencies between 13 and 30 hertz and the more parietal and frontal. We have theta waves that occur in frequencies between 4 to 8 and we usually observe those in children or sleeping adults. And we also have delta waves that occur from frequencies 0 0.5 to 4 hertz and again, those are observed in infants or sleeping adults. 